Have you experienced a haircut like this? It's all botched up and choppy and you have to speak to the manager. <laughs> Doesn't matter what gender you are. If you've had a bad haircut experience and you're still at the salon or you go home and you absolutely do not like it, you're traumatized, you feel it's you know, super uneven, very choppy, whatever the situation is, and you have to call the manager. You have to call back the salon, you have to call back the barber shop, and sometimes people don't even do that. They just you, just, you all just live with the bad haircut. But you have every right to express your feelings and your concerns to the manager, to the owner of the shop, and eventually even the person who cut your hair, because they should not be let loose out in the public doing crime scene, ca causing like disasters and crimes, okay? They should not be doing hair disasters, hair massacres. It's not right. So they need to know if they are botching people up and the management is usually the first line of defense. So what do you do when you get a haircut and you have to go back or you have to call, you have to complain? What you really need to express is, listen, I went in, I saw so-and-so yesterday or today or while you're there, just have them come out and you can say, well, this is not what I was looking for. It's very uneven, very, very choppy. What you need to do is point out the things that you see that you're not happy with. Don't start making up all sorts of weird stuff because I'm, you know, obviously as a stylist, I'm, I stand behind stylists and professionals, but at the same time, like, don't start trying to say things like, oh, my hair was down my back, but you know, when he cut it, uh, you know, all my hair fell out. Like, no, don't start making up all sorts of weird stuff. Just be truthful and honest about what you're seeing that's not working for you. And if you see things that are uneven, that are, are choppy, what you need to do is point those out so they can make it, it can be clear to the managers so that if they're seeing it, then it's going to be helpful. If you just say, oh, this is what I was looking for. I hate it and then have a nervous breakdown but you could, you could have to really elaborate this way they can go back to the stylist and explain to them. And chances are the professional probably knows that they did something wrong because you're going to be fidgeting in the chair. You're not going to be, you're going to seem like you're not very, very happy. Okay. And if you're a good actor or actress, then you can, <laughs> but when you go home, you're going to be miserable. But the thing is, is that chances are if somebody messes up a haircut, there's a part of them deep down that knows that it wasn't the best. I know when I do my best work, I know when I do mediocre in, in the past, I've done, you know, fortunately I haven't had a lot of botch up jobs. Um, maybe one, one disaster early on in my career, like 20 something years ago, but we, we all know, okay. If we effed up, if we made a mistake, so you need to express to the person, this is what happened. This does not look right. I wasn't expecting to go too short. I said a trim, and then they'll go back to the stylist or go to the barber. Then the bar, the professional will get very defensive. Oh, that's not what they said to me. And it all becomes a huge disaster. But regardless, you know, you have every right since you paid for that service to go in and express your feelings, express. And the more you keep it calm, the minute you start freaking out and becoming an absolute, you know, bridezilla or whatever it is, you start going absolutely mad on people and freaking out and causing a scene, the, the less they are going to want to help you and want you back in the salon, trust me, or barbershop. Causing a scene is the last thing you want to do. Go someplace in a private room, have the stylist go there, go privately and just talk. I've seen situations where people come in and they're crying and it, it's just, it's, it's not fun. It's not a bad, it's not a good experience for the client, for the stylist, for the salon, the environment. It's not fun. But if you do have any sort of issues, if you have to speak to the manager because of the haircut you got, just express what it is. They may relay it back to, you know, the professional because they may redo it. And you probably don't even want to go back to that person because they screwed up in the first place. All of that needs to be expressed. The problem is and where it gets tricky is since you paid for that service, that individual is the one who's getting paid for what they did. Now, if another stylist has to take, has to do that, the house or the salon or whatever, the owner may have to take that person's cut and transfer it over to the other stylist who's trying to fix it. That stylist may lose out. But then again, if they're doing an awful haircut, they should not be getting paid to do it, to be honest with you. So it doesn't matter if it's their time, they completely screwed up the haircut. So those things go on in the back end. They may, they may start to bring that up saying, oh, well, we have to charge you a whole the haircut price. 
because we have to cover so-and-so. Well, no, deduct it from the person who messed up my hair, transfer it over to the person who should get it, right? And they can even screw it up too. So it gets really, really complicated, but please share with me any sort of, speak to the manager of haircuts you've ever had, any sort of hair disasters. Uh, I'd love to know because, you know, I, I, I think it's important that we all share what's going on and I love to read the comments. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.